Okay, my name is Dr. John Anderson and this case study is on the geographies of surfing. Well, why I'm really interested in the geographies of surfing is that because surfing as a leisure activity presents some really fascinating areas of study for geographers. It not only talks about how human beings engage with nature and engage with nature in order to promote healthy and active lifestyles, it also promotes the ideas of perhaps linking physical and human geography together by, by through, through engaging with water worlds. We can get to understand about currents, about tides, understanding both human geography and physical geography. And also looking at geographies of surfing can think about the generative potential that surfing can have for particular localities in terms perhaps of bringing in tourism and acting as a driver to unite communities but also build economies. Well, this uh, part of the research I've done in relation to surfing geographies was sponsored by the Sports Council for Wales, and they wanted to look at who surfed in Wales and why they surfed, and also where they surfed. So we did a survey of surfers throughout the Principality and got about 150 results, and then looked at who these surfers were, why they surfed, and what sorts of implications their presence in particular localities had. Okay, from our research we found that the, the results mirrored broader surveys that we found um, of surfers more globally, that actually it's a male-dominated sport, about 80% of people who get involved in surfing are male and 20% female, although that number is growing, so increasingly it becomes a, a, a sport that women want to get involved with. Also, perhaps it's dominated by younger people as well. Our average age of people who surfed in Wales was approximately 30 years old, although you do have a cross-section from the very young through to the very old, although perhaps the age of between sort of 18 and 35 dominates the people who want to surf. The reasons why they say they enjoy surfing was because it contributed to an active lifestyle. through a fun activity, the social camaraderie of hanging around with friends, both getting ready for surfing, but also actually in the lineup on the waves. It's a very social activity. But also people talked about the, the joy they got from simply riding waves and putting themselves in with the mix of the energy of the oceans. So there's a bit of risk in there, a bit of fear, a bit of apprehension, but also a sense of ecstasy of actually catching a wave and riding it through to shore. It's a feeling they said they couldn't get in any other aspect of their lives. Some other aspects this research um, found was that surfers also can bring a strong economic dimension to a locality. So particularly in Wales, a lot of coastal areas are often relatively deprived. We get into Pembrokeshire and up through Ceredigion, and a lot of the economy is based on tourism, which is a very seasonal activity. But of course, surfing is something that happens perhaps all year round to a large extent, but also the best waves are found in autumn, winter and spring, which perhaps don't coincide with the high um, demand for tourism, which is often in the summer. So by investing in surfing, by providing resources for surfing at places where surfing naturally occurs around the coast, then surfing can actually act to even out the economic income in rural areas and actually act to support local communities and their economies throughout the year. 